Being led by corrupt people, it's hard to do your job. You come out, and that's what these guys do. You know, I had people say about Sims. Like I told you, I, I have nothing but respect for Officer Sims. But don't come at me sideways when I ask you to follow the law. The Fourth Amendment is very clear. I'm securing my property. If I ask you to leave my property, you don't have a search warrant. You don't have probable cause to be there. <clears throat> and that fire situation, they should have. he should have moved them on the other side of the gate and finish their conversation because I asked them to leave the property. And But instead, he wanted to show off. Uh, I knew what it was about. He wanted to show off for his uniform friend. And that's not going to happen with me. I'm going to give you what you give me. You know, he turned a blind eye to the citizen and really said, fuck the citizen, me. So I said, fuck him. And I'm going to hit him with whatever I got. But a couple of days after that, you know, I apologized to him and let him know. I still got respect for him. But this is about education. And I'm not a person who's going to run from an individual in a uniform, a clown suit. You know, you want to throw hands? And that's what he was saying. Let's throw hands. He will be surprised because I, I'm built for that. You know, don't let don't let the age fool you. I'm a man. I, I, I don't hide behind no uniform. I don't hide behind no badge. You know, you beat me. I come from a, 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 a area or a town that you beat me. I shake your hand. Then I go back to the jail and prepare myself for the next one and get better at what I do. And at my age, I don't became excellent in what I do. So, when he trying to offer me up, you know, that was the wrong thing to do. But like I say, I got respect for the man. He's a good officer and he needs to become the chief, if you ask me, of Tacoma Park. <laughs> Cause he's a hell of an officer. Everybody have bad days. Everybody. I have bad days. He probably was having a bad day. And when people have bad days, they clash. Just like this officer. He's leaving now, Tacoma Park. You know, it's about putting that uniform on and being professional. He came out. I showed him what the crime was. He said he wrote a report. And he left. You know, the young lady comes out. I've spoken to her on several calls. She come out, asks what's going on. She investigates. Get back in her car and leave. Well, these individuals fail to realize I don't engage them until they engage me. You don't engage me. If you look at my videos, I don't say nothing to you. But if you engage me sideways, I'm going to string you up. And you're not going to like what I say. You see all this trash? This is unacceptable. Unacceptable. For a green town who claim to be a green town, this is unacceptable that your people that you put into office have not come out here and cleaned this up in a year and a half. This garbage has been out here in the park for a year and a half.
Look at this. For a year and a half. If you can look at some of this trash, some of this garbage. It's been sitting out here so long, they're starting to get other trees growing in it. But this is your green town that you claim is so green. No, this is what they love to talk. And that's all they are, is lip service to the individuals that they make out of food because they agree with them. Look at this. They agree with them just so they'll get elected into office. Look at this. Unacceptable. Bags starting to melt into the ground in a green town. Somebody cut down a root of a tree and they decided to dump it in here. These hard hats, I guess they work for somebody. They decided to throw their hard hats over here. Now I'm pretty sure you got some, some good officers out here. I know a lot of good officers. <clears throat> Everybody have bad days, but you got some real bad officers that put on that uniform and think you got to bow down to them. I've never bowed down to another man and never will. The only person I bow down Two, it's the Almighty. He's the only one I'm going to drop down to my knees. And that's the difference between me and most males out here. We have very few men, but a whole lot of males. And it's time... These males stand up and be counted as men. Take a stand. Because that's what's wrong with this country today. The men have bowed down. Somebody come back here a long time ago. Long time ago. Cut their wood, cut their tree down, and they dumped their tree here. Now in a green town, somebody should have came out here and picked this up. But because they have this jurisdiction attitude, oh, we're not going to do that because that's the park area. They should come out and clean it up. It's the people's park. Who cares if somebody dumping this stuff 
If the park can't get out here and clean it up, you clean it up. Here's an oil can where somebody changed their oil. Still sitting out here. The officer said he didn't know if that was their camera or not. Yeah, right. I don't know if he know because, you know, they never talk. Public Works and the police department, you know, they getting their hand greased. City Council getting their hand greased. This is why they trying to develop and keep certain companies out of here because they won't go along with the program, won't commit criminal activity. I know now that they be running something about how beautiful Tacoma Park is. Don't believe the hype. Don't believe the hype. You know, I don't doctor, don't know how to doctor these videos. That's why you see my videos the way they are. You saying what is really going on in the town of Tacoma Park, Maryland. And I'm about to go further out into the state of Maryland, D.C., and Virginia. Don't believe the hype. Video, do not lie. Unless you edit it and alter it. And that's something I don't do. This is a can pack. Deer hunting camera. I don't know where they hunting because they sure can't catch nothing. And this one up here on this pole is funny because there's no antenna. There's no wires hooked up to it. And I'm pretty sure there's no power to it. But I could be wrong. I don't know what the name of it is. I could research it if I knew the name. But I'm pretty sure it's a dud. Because I don't see no receiver on it. The car the other day was stolen and I haven't seen anybody come out here and pull that camera's footage. So that might be a dud too. So the car probably was stolen. He said a stolen car. So yeah, that's probably a dud too. I see nothing on it with an antenna. I don't see anything that has a a battery pack on it and if it has a battery pack on it you have to change it it's not gonna what well, it's almost a week now so that's probably a dud too that's probably why they put it here because they think everybody defective like they are and that's why they put that camera it's the park police and I'm pretty sure it the battery don't ran out on it because the light don't stop blinking so, I'm going to let them know that maybe somebody need to come out here and change the battery. See, look all this right here, all this trash. Yeah, the battery don't stop blinking in this one. So, the battery probably going dead in that one. See all this trash? But you in a, look at this. You in a green town and all this trash is in the bushes of a green town.
But this is what you have to do to get action from a government is to embarrass the people that you employ. And that's what these videos are about. I don't go out antagonizing people, harassing people. I go out, I videotape. I don't say nothing to you. You don't say nothing to me and there won't be an issue. But if you say something and you want a confrontation, I'm going to let you have it. See my big deer down there? My big buck? He down there resting in the, in the weeds right there. I just want you to move so the people could see you. Move one more time. There we go. That's a big buck. It's like 25 of them out here. There's another deer. This is where they live at. In this God forsaken garbage dump. Of a green town. Which the, the people who have been employed call it Tacoma Park, Maryland. I call it Mayberry. Being run by Andy. And his gang of terrorists. Well, secured by Andy. Oldest, Festus, the whole group. And the people of Tacoma Park should be ashamed of themselves. The citizens should be ashamed of themselves because they hired these flutes to run their town. I guess Park Police said they don't got tired of coming down here. Uh, but I, they, they the real police. They should, they'll come. They got to come to all calls. They'll be down here. I'm pretty sure they know who it is and know what it's about. So let's give them a few more minutes. I can't believe that they or letting these electrical wires run through these trees. And I don't know if they hot or not. But America, if we want to make this country great again, we have to get rid of some of these welfare recipients that we have put into office and that are sitting on their butts doing nothing. And the funny thing about this is most of them have gotten to this point where now they're working at home. How do you have a government that works from home? You know. This COVID-19 thing, it's over. It's over. We need to get this government back into the building and start working for the people. You know, I called 311 of Montgomery County and they hung up on me and they were because they were home. And I could hear the children in the background. I guess the people were three times. They hung up, I called back three times and I could hear children in the background of some of them. 
They're not doing their job. We need them back in the buildings, back in the offices, getting paid to do their job. Not sitting at home. I call the mayor of DC. I call the governor of Maryland. It goes into his answering service. How is it that I can't even get his secretary? Or they want you to send an email. I want to talk to my employees. I don't want to send an email. I want to talk to a person. We have become a weak country. Because we have put defective individuals into office. And we need to start cleaning these individuals out. If you can't stand this little issue that we just had with coronavirus, how are you going to take care of something real serious, real big? This has got to stop. This country is weak. We let the weak people come into this country and the strong people stay in their country. You know, I was telling a gentleman the other day, he tried to say that he was with the Civil Rights Act. And I told him he was, he's, no, he's not even compared with the Civil Rights Act. You know, my people came over here in chains on boats for years. These individuals who come into this country now are being run now by real men in their country and they are the cowards and the weak coming to this country. And this country, because we have cowards and weak individuals running it, are accepting them. To build this country up, we need the strong to come here. And we have groups of weak individuals coming here and the government is allowing them the people, I'm not going to say the government, the people who run in the government is allowing these weak individuals who are being run from their country by real men to come into this country. And that's why we're in the predicament we're in now, because we're taking the weak of every country into this country. And just like I told him, you come to be a slave freely in America. My people came with chains and shackles on. Don't compare yourself to the journey my people went through. And I'm not talking about one specific group of people. I'm talking about every individual that comes here is the coward of their country. This is my fine officer right here, a great national park officer. She should be chief or lieutenant one day. Good morning, ma'am. You know, they I'm pretty sure they just think I'm trying to date you or get to know you or something, keep calling you here. <laughs> This, this is our, that's in your, from what the other officers told me, so I call you for the big TV. Uh, Tacoma Park has come for this little stuff. They had a, a car down here stolen Sunday, and now we got this today. Uh, Tacoma Park, it was on the street part. Um, let me ask you a question. Maybe you know or not. Is these your cameras? I have the slightest idea. I know that. I think that's y'all's right there. I never even saw the camera. Oh, okay. I, that's why I said because I think after. I think that's y'all's. This is Tacoma Park, so. It's three of them. So that one there, I don't know if they duds. They got the last one down there pointing at my building. I guess, and that's why I say I think it's Tacoma Park because they're trying to intimidate me. But you, I'm the wrong person. So, yeah, one right here. I think this is y'all's that was pointed right over here to this area, park area. 
I would just like some CCN numbers and some, who? some CCN complaint numbers on this. You mean a report number? Yeah. Well, they, they you know. But uh, he came out and uh, see, he gave me his, the, the numbers for theirs. Okay. I don't know. what I, I This is just ridiculous now. I mean. So we got the front, the real police out here today to do the report, get a report number from the real police. But you got a new car? No, I just, I just got this out the shop. Oh, this is not your car? Yeah, it is. This your car? Yeah. This one, the one I saw you in before. I don't remember them GPS's on the uh, antennas on the back of it. Yeah, they always been like that. That's oh. how I get my radio signals. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, they always had those. Oh, uh, okay. So we have the real police out here now get some CCN numbers from her and we'll see where we go from here but again if these cameras are Tacoma parks on you should be able to pull up this vehicle because it was parked right here under the tree where the camera is and that camera But again, this is an excellent officer right here. Does her job. Respectable. And as you see, we don't even have anybody coming to pick up the, the leaves. But like I say, the only way we're going to change this government is that we have to get rid of these weak individuals that are in the government now and put strong people in there because it needs to change. Thank you, ma'am. So I appreciate that's it. That's your report number right there, and I'm going to put a maintenance request in to have them come out. Yeah, I'm glad because I put that up. They they seem to stop here, but now I don't know what it is. You're gonna dump right in front of a camera. Yeah. I mean, you should have no respect, none. Yeah. Like I said, I, I haven't. Uh, thank you. I haven't been out here with you in a couple of weeks. Yeah. So. Another guy came the last time. There was more dumping. He came. Okay. And uh, yeah, y'all been on. I mean, I got nothing against y'all. I when yeah. I put you on my news channel, I, I, y'all the real police. I got you. Uh, Coma Park, they Mayberry. I, I, I got you. So I'm gonna embarrass them. That's what that's what this is about. And, and until they decide, there's no reason for this every week going on. You know what I'm saying? So if I gotta embarrass the government, that's what's gonna happen. Well, like I said, anytime you have any complaints, I yeah, no. Like I said, you. I, hey, I tell you, excellent officer. I hope you make chief or lieutenant sergeant because you're excellent. You're professional. I, I've never had a problem with you. And you come out, you be professional. You know, and when I get a chance, I'm going up there and I'm going to give you a commendation. I'm going to write you a commendation, yeah. Ms. Moore. Okay. All right, be safe. All right, All right. Care. take care. All right. That's Officer Moore. This is her excellent officer of the park police. Professional, does her job. And like I say, if, if their supervisor is watching this, she needs a commendation and, and some rank because... She's a professional officer, and we need more of them. So let's send this down and see what happens with this one. Signing out right now, November the 9th, 2021.